Hello. Today we will be discussing how to assemble the Analog Discovery 2 Digilent Oscilloscope. Our focus will be on the assembly of the oscilloscope and the waveform generator, specifically using a T-shaped breakout board included in the kit. Furthermore, we will be demonstrating how to use the oscilloscope and waveform generator by measuring the output of said generator. To start, we'll begin by taking the Discovery 2. You will notice on its side it has a series of 15 by 2 male pins. There is also a small hole at one end towards the top of the oscilloscope. We will take a 15 by 2 ribbon connector, which also has a small tab on it, and fit it in directly to the oscilloscope with the tab fitting into that hole. You can see that here. Press it in to ensure that all the connections are made. The next thing we will focus on is inserting the T-shaped breakout board seen here. You will want to insert it on one end of the breadboard around the middle divider that you can see in the center of it. Each of the male pins should be about two slots away from that center divider, and then you must push it in in order to ensure that all the connections are correctly made. The next thing you will need to do will be to insert a 2x15 male-to-male adapter in order to allow the oscilloscope to connect to the T-shaped board. You can see that here. Simply place it such that each of the male pins is inserted into one of the female pins and push down. Finally, we will begin attaching the T-shaped board to the oscilloscope using the ribbon connector. Ensure that there are no twists in the ribbon connector, with, for example, the orange cable staying on one side, and then push on to the male adapter that was just inserted into the T-shaped board. You can see that here. We will now begin on taking a look at how to activate the waveform generator and the oscilloscope. Plug in the micro USB on the back side of the oscilloscope as shown. Then open up waveforms. You will be able to detect the connection and connect to the Discovery 2, and you will see that indicated in the bottom right. Open up the oscilloscope and the wave generator. You will see the GUI that allows you to edit the waveform generator and a GUI showing the oscilloscope and its output. The oscilloscope connections for channel 1 are indicated by the 1 plus and the 1 minus, while for channel 2 they are indicated by the 2 plus and 2 minus. For each channel, the oscilloscope will take the reading between the plus and minus terminal in order to find the output. Additionally, the 1- minus and 2- minus channels are connected internally, so only one is necessary when using both channels of the oscilloscope. W1 is used for the waveform generator's first channel, with W2 being for the waveform generator's second channel. The arrows pointed downwards are the ground terminals. Remember that breadboards are connected horizontally with each side of the divider. So each of these pins on the T-shaped board has three access points. First, we will be connecting the waveform generator to channel 1 on the 1 plus side, as shown here. Once you have plugged in the waveform generator, 
you will need to connect the negative terminal of the oscilloscope channel to ground in order to get a proper reading of what the waveform generator is forming. All signals are comparing to voltages, so having a baseline at ground is preferable if possible. Once everything has been connected, you may turn on the oscilloscope and you will see a flat reading. Here I am turning off channel 2 since it is not in use. And then I will turn on the waveform generator to see what the signal is that is being transferred through to the oscilloscope channel. You can see if I take out the wire that the oscilloscope is no longer reading what the waveform generator is producing. This indicates that the connection is good and the terminals are working correctly. In general, it is best not to change the circuit when an AC signal is traversing it. This is just for demonstration purposes that I'm doing this. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching.